For our first game, uh, we will be including the Sodomy Dogs Furry Pack. No! <laughs> <laughs> No, do it, do, do it, it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, one of them is kind of really offensive though. Just one of them though. The other ones are like make me kind of this... go, oh, but they're not offensive. Well, I... just just X them out if you have some you don't want. <laughs> True. Yeah. If you haven't seen no, but... uh, seen our playthrough with Apples Against Humanity, they allow you to get rid of any cards at any time. You just don't get new cards until. A new round. There's even a dump your entire hand function. And I mean, I think most people will expect offensive things from this game. Exactly. Yeah. It's well, like there's, there, I, there's a line though. <laughs> well, it's not it's like we actually... loaded up the pedophilia pack. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm all sitting here going. Is there a pedophilia pack? <laughs> I just made that up, but if one appears, I am going to, I don't know, throw myself in the street. I was going to say, <laughs> toss yourself into the burning sun. <laughs> uh, probably. I'll jump out the window and the dogs can have me. So, greetings everyone, this is Evil Guacamole Gaming, and we're playing some more Cards Against Humanity. And, while this is happening in May, I have no idea when it's going to post, because I have a big backlog of ca Cards Against Humanity, but we <laughs> wanted to play, so it's happening. There's an Undertale one. <gasps> that might contain spoilers, though. I'll yeah, yeah I probably don't know could. how far. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brad <laughs> has... Not even left Toriel's house yet. Okay. No, we well, have. We have. We got to uh, go and. Probably by. Well, I mean, we've got New Game Plus, which should be out by the time this gets posted. <laughs> <laughs> so, base. Oh, yeah, we haven't reached. Have we reached Snowden yet? I don't think we did. No, there wasn't a town. We just were. I think just about the last thing we did. Oh, there was that weird, like walking puzzle that was supposed to be randomized then like with yeah, all yeah. these funky features and then he's like, done a few of papyrus's puzzles yeah <laughs> there's a there's a haunted house one and one of them is a gay monster who won't come out of your closet that's <laughs> <laughs> me i'm real distracted by the card decks right now <laughs> all right well then let's get uh the game started i am the first card czar Oh, Hi, this is Jim from Accounting. We noticed a 1200 charge labeled blank? Can you explain? That moment when you have a good card, but you're also like, maybe I could save this for something even better. The oh. nice thing about being able to remove cards at will is that you can, uh, makes it a lot easier to, uh, um, to have good cards. Yeah, I was gonna say if you've had that card, the same card for like eight rounds, and have never found something even remotely close to working for it. <laughs> we also have the click to reveal function on, which I think is rather cool. Yes. Uh, we <laughs> notice a label, uh, a twelve hundred charge labeled "Mom's new boyfriend." Can you explain? <laughs> uh, we Mom notice must have been a, very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> we noticed the 1200 coin that's Alpha a very Raven different boy. use of that like that's the first time I've seen like like mom's new boyfriend was a gift um, <laughs> Not uh, we, no we noticed a 1200 char a 1200 dollar charge labeled finding Waldo can you explain <laughs> GPSs are expensive <laughs> oh, we, we noticed a 1200 dollar charge labeled Western standards of beauty? Can you explain? <laughs> like, this doesn't seem like that complicated. Uh, uh, we noticed a $1,200 charge labeled a tub of Vaseline. Can you oh. explain? <laughs> that That must be a literal, like, bathroom tub of Vaseline. <laughs> a $1,200 tub of Vaseline. I definitely have to go with Mom's new boyfriend. 
<laughs> I have to wonder if a tub of Vaseline was part of the furry pack. <laughs> oh, wow. No. I would not be surprised. I met. Oh, I'm I'm the word I can't say and I don't want to try because it's less embarrassing this way. Okay. Czar. Everyone down on the ground. We don't want to hurt anyone. We're just here for blank. Oh, God, I have two good ones. <laughs> I, I should oh, feel okay. bad about this or not. <laughs> okay, if you so, see one with a purple dot in the corner, that means I created this as a custom oh, deck. Okay. Oh, boy. Don't, don't offend my, my delicate sensibilities now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I do get that sometimes Cards Against Humanity is gonna I mean whether it's supposed to be or not it, it can really turn out offensive but there were some cards in those those custom ones that were just real bad okay. well, it's interesting <laughs> it's interesting listening to the philosophy behind, behind the people that made it is that it, in general the, the cards are uh, f try to follow the rule of the joke is either about something that is really terrible and thus it's funny to to, to have some humor. control over it. Yeah. Or or it's making fun of somebody with uh, unreasonable amounts of power. True. Um, which is the reason why they they wanted they they changed their mind about the the passable transvestite card. It's because they mm -hmm. they were convinced by the person who started that campaign uh, that yeah this was making fun of a disadvantaged group. It wasn't really it wasn't really attacking somebody with power. It was just right. making fun of. So they're like yeah you're right. Mm -hmm. We get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So. Everyone down on the ground. We don't want to hurt anyone. We're just here for scritches. <laughs> scritches, scritches, scritches. Bunch of cats attacking. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hurt anyone. We're just here for a possible Muslim. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. No. We don't want to hurt anyone. We're just here for repression. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> you use that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to hurt anyone. We're just here for Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> Oh, I love him. Okay. Uh, I may have spammed him when he was getting married that I wanted to be invited to his wedding. <laughs> 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 and then adopted as one of his children. Oh. The dream. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of stuck between Neil Patrick Harris and Scritches. Huh. I'm going to have to go with Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. No! <laughs> Damn, I got too real. <laughs> yeah. To explain my line of thinking with repression was, we're not here to hurt anyone, we're just here to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. <laughs> what will I bring back in time to convince people that I am a powerful wizard? This, this would convince me. Sometimes the ones that I think are funny is because it conjures a very specific image in my mind, and there's no guarantees it'll conjure that same image in somebody else's mind. Yeah, yeah that's the trick. That's, that's yeah. kind of how I work, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What will I bring back in time to convince people that I am a powerful wizard? Oncoming traffic. <laughs> well... That's gonna do something to them. <laughs> yeah. What will I bring back in time to convince people that I'm a powerful wizard? The way Ted Cruz became the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> what will I bring back in time to convince people I'm a powerful wizard? Sexual humiliation. Okay. <laughs> what will I bring back in time to convince people that I'm a powerful wizard? A web of lies. Oh, hmm. I feel like... I have to go with this. I was gonna say, yeah. I feel like that one's funny on multiple levels because it kind of implies that you did that to prove you were a powerful wizard, and in doing so, caused Ted Cruz to become the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm only gay for blank. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, my custom cards that I've been seeing are... Have any of you gotten any of the custom cards? You said it had Not a yet. dot. 
Yeah, I don't no. think I've got any yet. I wonder if you. I wonder if you only get them. I wonder. Ooh. Well, then you can make custom cards in the corner. Then you can add your own, and then you have a random chance of getting them. Oh boy. Okay. I'm only gay for God. <laughs> gay for Jesus. I'm only gay for the Dover Boy. <laughs> the Dover Boy. <laughs> they drive me to suck cock. <laughs> A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only gay for scrotum tickling. <laughs> and I'm only gay for sexual interest in pretty much anything with the whole. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Who's are all really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it just makes it hard. Oh. That's uh, that would be the <laughs> optimal term. Well, yes, yes, that's true. I gotta go with God. <laughs> yeah, the Dover boys. Yeah. Were good. Oh, I see the. It was good. <laughs> and my turn. Oh yeah. In one thousand years, when paper money is a distant memory, how will we pay for goods and services? <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Fred has an unfair advantage. Why? Because she knows me. <laughs> and she knows how to make me laugh. You're the only person I know how to make laugh. So, how do you do customs? Um, it should be... Oh, you might have to bring the menu thing up. You have to oh, left click. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Okay. And you can make up your own customs, uh, custom questions as well, that I guess will just randomly you may get as a question. In 1,000 years, when paper money is a distant memory, how will we pay for goods and services? Man meat! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to be a theme. <laughs> how will we pay for goods and services? Anal sex you didn't know you wanted. Oh. How will we pay for goods and services? Farting and walking away. <laughs> Hashtag With what <laughs> Hashtag crop dusting. <laughs> <laughs> How will we pay for goods and services? Passive aggressive posted notes. <laughs> oh man, okay. This is the winner. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's just farting and walking away. It's the perfect My way to My bad meat was thing. wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. Oh. <laughs> but um, tish. What will always get you laid? <laughs> the dude broiest answer will win. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What will always get you laid? Poorly timed Holocaust jokes. <laughs> I just swoop in, and like the lady's really liking it, and I'm like, "Hey, how many?" No, no. no. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, what will always get you laid? Sean Penn. <laughs> I know. And then he dies. Like, <laughs> that Sean Bean, dear. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, fuck. Now I know who this fucker is. I know him. <laughs> um, what will always get you laid? No. <clears throat> the world of Warcraft. That's the opposite of getting laid. <laughs> you know, you'd think that. <laughs> no, I've been you... for a really long time. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what forget will always get sex. you... Huh? You forget to have sex because you're so busy. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much. What will always get you laid? 
Zeus's sexual app, that's, that's definitely true. true. What? Well, <laughs> I think Zeus is the dude broiest of dudes, so. Very, very. Yes! <laughs> and he's back in the game. <laughs> What left this stain on my couch? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what left this stain on my couch? A spastic. Oh mirror. no. <laughs> <laughs> that is, um, for our uh, UK viewers, that's not considered a slur in uh, the United States. Uh, it just means oh, being so, very animated and stuff. Yeah, uh, most yeah. people don't realize, but in like the European area, that is a very grievous like slur for for a spastic depleant. Yeah. For oh. for what? <laughs> spastic depleant. It means like someone with cerebral palsy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's, it's actually very offensive in the UK, but like then we use it like for a d completely different way here, and then they're like, "Why are you saying these things?" Yeah. What Just like Fanny. Yeah. <laughs> what like the stain on my couch? A crazy little thing. <laughs> <laughs> what left this stain on my couch? Spontaneous <laughs> combustion. Well, <laughs> this burn stain. Yeah, I was gonna say it's less of a stain and more of a burn. Uh, what left this stain on my couch? Slowly easing down onto. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, I was not thinking that was gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> that felt too straightforward. Although, although Coco, a crazy little thing called love was a very close second. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's what I would have gone with. Uh, but that just reminds me, I have one friend who uh, used to work in the theaters. And she told me about how the whole thing about finding cucumbers during Fifty Shades of Grey was a legit thing that was happening. Oh no! Oh, no. Yeah. Why wouldn't? How could the considerate thing would that movie? It is the most unerotic thing. It, they cut all the sex out for one. If you left I... it, if you left it up there really a long time, would it turn into a pickle? I've been wondering <laughs> that. <laughs> 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 I assume it's if you're acidic enough down there. In my past life, I was. <laughs> oh, I, I'm afraid I may have won this because of a custom card I made. <laughs> In my past life, I was Moogie the Cow Girl. <laughs> In my past life, I was a micro penis. Oh no! <laughs> In my past life, I was John Wilkes Booth, and finally, in my past life, I was Court. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one sailed over one, my head. That one's connected, that, but I have to. My that heart goes so fast. Can somebody give me a very brief explanation of that one? <laughs> Uh, it, you would need to watch the LP that Advo and yeah. I are doing. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. It, it was a... Fan art for that. Uh, a beautiful woman who had a voice like this. Oh, okay, gotcha. It wasn't yeah. like this. I didn't, win, <laughs> I didn't win any of those. Me neither. <laughs> hey, uh, Rad, I think we should raise the score count a little bit. Okay. Yeah, um, but, uh, we'll... This is 20 minutes. I, I There's probably big chunks to cut out. But still, this is a good, solid episode. So, this has been Evil Guacamole Gaming. I'm the Devil's Advocado. And I've been joined by a ton of lovely guests. Starting in no particular no. order other than when you shout. Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know somebody else's. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, let's... I, I'll actually, I'll do it. Uh, Maggie? Yeah! <laughs> Coco? Yahoo! Fred? <laughs> and Emily? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
farewell, people. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 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 whoops, I'm clicking the wrong thing. <laughs>